Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. It's nice to see you. Good, good evening. evening teacher. Welcome, guys. Welcome, Oswaldo Hernandez, Elmer Giovanni, Edgar Escobar. Welcome, Gabriela Abigail, Elsie del Carmen. Who else we have? Genesis. Welcome, Levia Eloida. Good welcome. Hi. Good evening. Presente. Hello. Tennis, welcome. Camila Alessandra. Ana Xiomara. We have Jonathan Adonai. Who else we have? Ana Xiomara, yes, I mentioned, right? Yes. Susana del Carmen and Jaime Alfredo. Welcome, everyone. Tell me, how do you feel today? Fine. fine. Very fine. Very, 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 very fine. fine. Welcome, welcome, guys. <laughs> okay, For me remember? today means very exhausted. Really? Are you very exhausted? You had a lot of work today? Yes, in my work. Don't coming, you... uh -huh. coming uh, container. Oh, with container? So yes. that's it's heavy, right? It's heavy work. So yes, yes it's very right. exhausting. And don't you feel, guys, that it's like it, it during the day? Well, we normally have 24 hours, but it's not sufficient time to do the yes. things that you want to do. You say, what? It's 2 p.m. already. <laughs> it's too fast. The time yes. flies incredibly fast. So quickly the time passes. Yes. Okay, yes, it's incredible. All right, let's remember that yesterday we were talking about like uh, some imperatives, right? Also continue talking about different medications that you had in your home. What are the ones you use for different illnesses? And the positive imperatives and the negative imperatives. So instructions that you can give, recommendations that you can give to a person when they feel bad. So to improve their health. Now, we're going to watch a video, and in this one, let's read the objective that we have. Let's mark it to emphasize here. By the end of this class, you will read and discuss an article about how to improve your health. Additionally, you will develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. So we're going to watch the video and then analyze for comprehension. Let's go ahead. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. By reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. 10 Simple Ways to Improve Your Health Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. 4. Drink 8 cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. 5. Stretch for 5 minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. 6. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. 7. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. 8. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. 9. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, like yogurt, milk, and cheese, have calcium. 10. Take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music.
All right. We watched the video about it. Now, this one's about 10 simple ways to improve your health. Can you think of some ways to improve your health? Don't look at the article. So tell me, what are some simple ways to improve your health? A part of these ones, a part of the article. What things can we do to feel better, healthier? Lerdia, what do you think? <laughs> can you give us like a recommendation in the manner how we can help our body to feel healthy? Alguna mm. manera de cómo mejorar nuestra salud. Some ah. recommendation that you give. Okay, tomar ocho vasos de agua al día. Ah, okay. To drink eight glasses of water every day. That is good. Really, really yeah. nice. It, it gives you energy too, right? Yes. Yeah. That's true. Nice. Edgardo, what about you? Thank you, Lydia. Uh, sleep uh, sleep uh, at least per eight hours. At least eight hours. That's true. What the doctors recommend, right? Normally, they are eight hours. So that is good. If you have a good sleep the next day, you're going to feel relaxed and with more energy too. That's nice. So sleep is very important part of our health. Thanks. So now let's read this one. It says, believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. Comer mucha verdura. Yes, true. Eating a lot of vegetables and also fruits. That is true. This is a good advice that we need to follow for it. <clears throat> So let's read these 10 important steps. Number one, it says, eat breakfast. We're going to read it. Oswaldo Hernandez, can you please read it? Number one. This is, eat breakfast. Breakfast give gives. you energy for, gives good. you gives. energy for the morning. Very good, John. Thank you. That is true. This is a base. Thanks. It's very basic to begin the day if we don't eat breakfast. No gasoline for our body. <laughs> we need to begin the day with right energy. That is our gasoline. That's true. What do you usually eat for the breakfast? Ana Xiomara? Un ejemplo o que lo lea. No, the, the things that you normally eat for the breakfast. For example, if they are eggs, beans. What do you eat for breakfast? Waffles, pancakes, your breakfast. What do you usually eat? Pupusas, for example. Mm -hmm. Cereal, cereal, cereal with with milk. Cereal with milk, uh huh. Yes, also it's a good combination, right? With milk that it has the calcium, very important thing. That's right. Thanks. Okay, let's read number two. Elsie, can you please read number two? <clears throat> Go for a walk. A walk. Walking. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. Definitely. Thank you. It's a good exercise, true. And also, when you walk, this is kind of relaxing. Also, it depends on the place, right, where you are. For example, if you go to the park and you walk, this is relaxing for you. Or maybe you go for a walk to a different place, like in El Cerro Verde. You can also walk, right? And you have contact with the nature, with the birds, with the mountains, the forest. Do you have new vocabulary in these two points? All right, let's continue with number three then. Genesis, read number three, please. Floss your teeth. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Don't just. Don't, Don't just. just brush them. Flossing keeps your your gums healthy. Your your gums. Your gums healthy. 
Thank you. Okay. Floss your teeth. It's like you use this thread. So not only use the, the brush, right? But you also use this thread to clean. So it's more effective to clean it. Question with this? New vocabulary? Floss. Floss. Flossing means utilizar el hilo dental. That's why it's floss your teeth. Entonces, básicamente es limpiar tus dientes con el hilo dental. Floss your teeth. Gums. Gums. Encías. Gums. Mm -hmm. Let's move Brush. to the... I'm sorry? Brush. Brush. You mm -hmm. take the, the toothbrush. Brush. El cepillo. Mm -hmm. So that also you can mean cepillar, right? En este caso estoy trabajando como acción. No solo, no solo los cepilles. Dice. Don't just brush them. Let's move to number four. Elmer Giovanni. Repeat. I'm sorry? Repeat, please. Uh, gums? Gums. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the meaning. The translation. The, meaning, sí. the translation yes. means encías. Thank you. You're welcome. Then let's go to number four. Elmer, drink. Drink a cup of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. In many ways. Thanks. In many ways. Very good job. Nice. Thanks. That is definitely, that is another part of the gasoline for our body, right? So tell me, how many glasses of water do you drink a day? How many? Rebecca? How many glasses uh, of water? Uh -huh. Already five. Five. Five glasses. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Do you feel that is sufficient? Is it enough? Sorry, can you repeat? Do you feel that is sufficient water for you? No. <laughs> no, right. <laughs> Normally they say like, like 10 gl uh, glasses, the recommendable, right? But sometimes because we are very busy, so as we were mentioning, the time flies and we don't have sufficient time to do this thing, another activity, another activity. So, all uh, right. Yeah, you that's right. One? That's right, yes. Thank you. Do you have vocabulary here in point number four? Okay, then let's check number five. Wendy Graciela. Number five. Okay, number five, a stretch for for five min, minutes. Minutes. Stretching. A stretching is import, import, important for your muscles. 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 Right, yeah, that's definitely we need to exercise a little bit, right? It's like what the the players do. They do. They need to stretch to give a movement because if not, probably they are going to get a cramp. Have you noticed? Have you ever had a cramp? Calambre, have you had a cramp? That's terrible, right? Especially if this one happens when you're sleeping. Has, has it happened to you? No les ha dado calambre mientras duermen. That's too bad. Yes. And yes. your foot is like yes. this. <laughs> you cannot... You cannot it's walk very terrible. Well. It's very terrible. So that is because we don't do exercise very much, right? So we and need to swim. move. Uh -huh. Oh, when you swim. swim. Yes, and it's very dangerous. Imagine if, if nobody else, if you are alone and you get a cramp, it's very, very dangerous. For that reason, it's very important to stretch. Vocabulary? New vocabulary here? No. 
All right, then let's continue with number six. Carla Saray, can you please? Number six. Okay. Uh, we are a where? Seat, where? 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 A seat belt? No, but you seat, 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 seat belt. Seat belt. Every year, it's got seat. 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 Seat, seat belt. 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 So save, save uh, thousands, thousands, and thousands of lives. Of lives. Of life. Thank, <laughs> thank you. All right, good. Now let's check here. We know that the seat belts that they are very important part. Like when we drive a car, or if you are the passenger too, right? Because it can avoid or it can eliminate the risk in the case that you have an accident. The seatbelt protects you. So what is a seatbelt? Cinturón de seguridad. That's correct. Do you wear a seatbelt when you drive or when you are the passenger? Yes, I do. You do it, right? It's very important. It can save lives as of you and also the other people that they are accompanying you. New vocabulary here. No. Okay. Let's go where? ahead. Yes. Where? Where? Where is like to use an accessory, but or you put on an accessory. Es utilizar un accesorio, utilizarlo, pero en el cuerpo. In this case, it's usar el cinturón de seguridad. Wear a seatbelt. On the next point, the next advice is seven. Do something to challenge your brain. Rodrigo Beltran, can you please read it? Okay, coach. Yeah. Do something to, cha to challenge. challenge your brain. For example, do a cross puzzle or a read new book. Good. Crossword puzzle or read a new book. Crossword. Cross, cross puzzle or a or a read a new book. Read a new book. That's right. Read good. A new book. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, this is very good because it helps you like uh, analyze different things. Doesn't it help you? For example, in the in the newspaper. Well, now it's not very common to have the newspaper, right? But who buys the newspaper? ¿Quién todavía compra el periódico? Who still buys the newspaper? Nobody? No, right? Because on Facebook we have the news, so that is not necessary. But grandparents... Sorry? No, or in Google. <laughs> or on Google, it's true. You find all the information, the news, you find them there. And also, there is a lot of types of games on Google that you can have fun. And at the same time, you are training your brain. Entrenamos al cerebro, right? We train our, and that's why it said to challenge, para retar. That's to challenge your brain. So, crossword puzzle is a good exercise for our brain. Or oh, read a new book. When we are reading, we are analyzing. When we read stories, for example, also that's the same case, right? Because they are, we are like a projecting. Imagine the situation. So, we challenge our brain. Do you have new vocabulary here? Yeah, I have. Yes, tell me. What is your question? Vocal or on vocal es abrochar y desabrochar, verdad? Mm -hmm. That's all right. Okay. So let's see here. What about number eight? Protect your skin. Let's see who has me here. Denise? Um, protect your skin. Uh -huh. You use your 
How do you say moisturizer? Moisturizer. Moisturizing. Uh -huh. Use lots, lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Sunscreen, that's good. Yeah, as we know that there is a lot of contamination, right, also, and also it's very, very sunny, so it's necessary to use some protection for our skin. So that's why lots of moisturizers, like humectante, crema humectante, right? And sunscreen, what is sunscreen? Protector solar. Exactly. Yeah, that's good. So it's necessary to protect our skin with those elements. Number nine, get enough calcium. Gabriel, Abigail, can you help us read, please? Get enough calcium. Mm -hmm. Your bones need it. Daily foods like yogurt, yogurt. milk. Yogurt. yogurt, milk, and cheesy cheese. have cheese. calcium. Cheese, cheese have calcium. Thank you. Notice that here, all of these ones are very important food also. That contains calcium. So what of this food do you like to eat? Lazaro? What of these foods do you eat? Lázaro, are you present? No. Clara Rodas. Eh, food. Ajá. Eh, eh, tengan calcio, ¿verdad? Ajá, that contain eh, calcio. Milk. Milk? Uh, milk. Do you drink milk? Um, okay. What um, else? Quiero ver. <laughs> Only that one? Yogurt? Do you like to eat yogurt? yogurt? Yes. Cheese? Mm. Mm. Do you mm. like cheese? Ah. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do it. Well, there are mm. other things that contain milk, right? For example, flan contains milk. Milkshake, mm -hmm. that's another one, mm -hmm. right? It contains mm -hmm. milk, so you can consume these mm -hmm. products. And in that way, you can get sufficient calcium to do. Thank you. Any question with this? Point number nine. Okay, let's go ahead then with number 10. Karina? Karina Canales? Can you listen, uh, Karina? Uh, Hello. Okay. Take a time out. Take a time out. Time out. Uh, time out. A break of about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Do something different for example get up and walk and walk or walk or sit down and listen to music thank you okay so this one basically you can do something different right not about like uh, continue with the routine but change the routine like listen to music is a good manner so that Music that you like and you feel relaxed, right? You can walk. Well, now that you have the earbuds or the headphones, you can also run. And at the same time, you are listening to your favorite music. Do exercise and also relaxing. New vocabulary here. No teacher. No questions? Okay. Then let's go ahead on our next part. We have a next slideshow. Got this exercise. And it says read the article. We just read the article. It says then complete the sentences. In number one, the example, it says to get the exercise, go for a walk. 
What about number two? To help your bones? What advice? Eat calcium. Ah, very good. Eat calcium. Definitely. Is that one? If we check it, here you have get enough calcium. Your bones need it. So it can help. Good. Can you help us with the audio, please? Yes. Okay. So it says get enough calcium. Let's write it by here. Get enough calcium. What about three? To help your muscles? Aha, that's great. Okay, so let's verify it. To help your muscles. So it's saying there that stretch for five minutes. So that's good exercise. Preparing your bones also, right? Your body. Let's include it here. For five minutes. What about number four? To keep your gums healthy? Close your teeth. Close your teeth. Floss your teeth. Very good. All right. Let's verify it. And it's exactly floss your teeth. Nice one. Okay. Let's include it here. Floss your teeth. What about number five? To have energy for the morning? Eat, eat, eat breakfast. breakfast. Eat breakfast. Excellent. Okay. Drink coffee. Aha. Uh -huh. Drink coffee. Yes. <laughs> That's true. It has to be something like a base, right? Eat breakfast. That's eat all right. Breakfast. Very important. Yes. You don't feel sleepy. Yes. Eat <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> It breakfast. Good one. And the last one to challenge your brain. Read a new book. Mm -hmm. That's good. Read a new book. Right? Or do a crossword puzzle. Uh huh. Do a puzzle. Crossword. Uh huh. Crossword puzzle. Do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Oh, read it. Uh -huh. so we can include it. Got puzzle or read a new book. Learn so, a new language. That's another one. That's true. It's also a challenge. It's to challenge your brain there. Definitely. That's true. Okay. Now we're going to read this one. Let's start. Edgardo, can you please read number one to get the exercise? Uh, to get the exercise, go for a walk. Thank you. Continue, Ana Xiomara. Number two. To help your boner. Your bones. Your to, bones. To help your bones. To help your bones. Have um, enough. Enough calcium. Enough calcium, yes. Thank you, Anna. Wendy, continue. Number three, please. To help your muscles stretch for five minutes. Very good job. Thank you. Jonathan Adonai. Um, to keep your gums healthy, close your teeth. Really good. Thank you. Susana. <laughs> To have energy for the morning, eat breakfast. Breakfast, very good. Thank you, Elsie. Number six. To challenge your brain, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. A crossword puzzle? Crossword puzzle? Cross, crossword puzzle. Good. Or read? Or read a new book. Very good. Thank you. That's nice. Okay. Any question about this? 
So far, so good. Brats? Okay. Then, we finish with the section number two. Now, let's move to the next section. Section three. And in this one, the name of this section is You Can't Miss It. Let's see about the objective that we have. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. So different places we're going to talk about. For example, here we have a post office, a gas station, a restaurant, a pharmacy, a bookstore. Let's see another one. We also have a restaurant, a newsstand. We already mentioned a pharmacy, bookstore, a bank, a school. Any other places that you can mention? What other places? A, a university. A university, excellent. What else? A park. A, a mall. park. A park, a mall. Very good. What else? A cinema. A cinema. Excellent. What else? Hospitals, right? Cafe. A cafe. Very good. Hospitals. The market. That, that's true. Yes. So there are different places that they are very important for us to go and buy different things or to get or make other things that are necessary for us to do. So let's check here. We have a video about it. 3.1. And this one is about vocabulary, places, and things. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six, you can buy stamps at a post office. Seven, you can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight, you can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, let's do an exercise here. That's about the video that we saw. It says places and things. Where can you get these things? Match the things with the places. Then listen and practice. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Now let's check. We have aspirin, letter B, as we have the drugstore here. What about number two, bread? You can get bread. Where? Where can we get bread? Well, we have these pictures here, but also we have others here. A restaurant. Uh -huh. It can be at a restaurant and also in a supermarket, supermarket. right? Yeah, it can be in two places, actually. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so you can get these ones. That could be letter H. What about the next one? A dictionary. Where can you buy a dictionary? At a bookstore, correct. So it's letter F. 
What about gasoline? Where can you get gasoline? At a gas station. At a gas station. Do you remember the letter? D. Letter D. D. Perfect. Okay, so this got letter D. 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 You can get or you can buy a sandwich. Restaurant. A restaurant. Yeah, at a restaurant. What letter was it? It. Letter? It. E. Sorry, it's here. Uh -huh. At a restaurant, that's letter E, correct. Also, it can be in some supermarkets, right? For example, in the Spensa de Don Juan, there is an area where they sell food. So it can be two places too. What about stamps? Where can you get stamps? At, post, at the post office. At a post office. Excellent. That's right. Where are you? you? Uh huh. Letter C. C. Yes. Sorry, I didn't see well this one. Let's eliminate this. That's a letter C. All right. Thank you. Seven, where can you get a swimshirt? At a department store. At a department store, correct. You remember what was the letter? It's in the other I part. Don't, I don't remember. D. D. G. Letter G, correct. Letter G. We have letter G. <laughs> and the last one, where can you get traveler's check? A bank. At a, at a bank, all right, good, at a bank. Where is the bank? I think it was the first letter, right? Yes. A. It was the a. first one. Mm -hmm. It a. was letter A. a. Letter e. That's correct, letter A. A bank. a bank, exactly. So you can do there, oh, okay, a traveler's check. Pay the bills, right? So you can give a, like, do a lot of things at a bank. Now let's go ahead on the next part. So now tell me, what places do you usually visit? Genesis, can you tell us? What places do you usually visit? Supermarket. The supermarket. Uh -huh. Department store. All right. A department store. Hospital. The hospital. Um, a beauty salon. Beauty salon. Right. Thank you. Carla Saray, what about you? What places do you usually visit? Hola, ¿me escucha? Yes, clearly. <laughs> eh, ¿Me puede repetir, por favor? Sure. What places do you visit? Do you normally visit? Supermarket. Bank. Supermarket, okay. What else? Um, is sala de belleza. <laughs> A beauty salon. <laughs> uh -huh. A beauty salon, all right. Sala, um, cine. Ah, the cinema? Yes. Yeah, that's great. Nice one. That's right. So there are different places, right, that we can visit. Good. Okay, let's go ahead on the next part. Remember that you have an exercise. But let's hear. It says, where is Jim going to buy the swimsuits that she needs? At the supermarket, at the department store, or at the beach? All it depends, right? on the audio because the three places are possible at the supermarket you can buy a swimsuit at the department store also at the beach also is possible so all it depends on the audio that you have on that exercise on the platform now let's go ahead on the next part we have another topic these ones are compound nouns let's check the objective 
by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound nouns. Compound nouns are the ones that they can be like this. It says compound noun is a noun which is made up of with two or more words. So they are formed, not only one word, but maybe it's two, maybe it's three, maybe it's four words. But when they are together, when they mix, they can bring a different word and it's a different context. For example, we have the word break. What is break? From fair. From fair. Okay, good one. And also it can mean, también puede significar receso. Como nombre, pero como acción es romper. Take away. Ajá. What about fast? What is fast? Rápido. 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 So it's an adjective, right? What if we put these two words together, we mix them, and we have breakfast. Totally different. <laughs> you put them together, nothing to do with the words that are together. Muchas ocasiones no tienen nada que ver con las palabras que la conforman. A veces sí se interpreta así. Comer rápido. Um, but they will be remember that is breakfast is desayuno, right? Ah. Ajá. So, a veces no tiene como una traducción, sino que ya conforman una nueva palabra. Sí, porque en español diría romper rápido, ¿verdad? Exactly. En inglés es desayuno. That is correct. So that's breakfast. Mm -hmm. For that reason is that it's not good to translate. Por eso es que no es recomendable hacer traducción. But mm. you need to make an interpretation, but no translation. We have some other examples here. These are compound words. Haircut is one word, but they come from two words. Hair, that is the part of the body, and right. cut. Aha, uh -huh. and cut, that means cortar o corte. Como, como un nombre es un corte. Haircut together, corte de cabello. Like when you go to the beauty salon, you say, okay, I go to the beauty salon and I get a haircut. Es un corte de cabello. Ice cream. Separate the word and you have yellow crema. Put mm. them together. What Helado. is ice cream? Helado. You see? Aquí tiene sentido porque es crema combinada con hielo, right? But it's un helado. Ice cream. Rainforest. What is rain? Lluvia. 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 Forest? Bosque. Bosque. Okay. You put them together. That means selva tropical. That's rainforest. Aircraft. Aircraft is this. Es un artefacto volador. Aircraft. Can be an airplane. Can be a helicopter can be also like when they travel to the space, a coet, right? All those. Bathroom. Baño. Aha, correct. So it's compound by two words. Bath, that means wow. baño, baño, pero que uno se dé un baño, right? And room, room que significa espacio. espacio. O cuarto, right? Room, mm -hmm. so es el cuarto de baño. Bathroom. Este sí tiene sentido. It's logical. Self-esteem. Self-esteem, that means autoestima. Self-esteem. Mm. Eggplant. What is eggplant? Berenjena. Berenjena. Uh -huh. Do you like eggplants? Yes. Yes. I like, I you like, like it? it? Oh, I like it. <laughs> That's good because I have heard the majority of people say, no, I don't like eggplants. I'm not just, 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 yes. uh -huh. just today I eat uh, eggplant ate. for lunch. Ah, really? I ate, so, I ate uh, uh, eggplant, eggplant for, lunch. for lunch. It's very good, right? When you put it like a cheese, with cheese, con queso, it's good. Yes, it's very good. Uh -huh. And with the stuffing, rellena. They are good, yes. right? Anna, you say, yeah, you love it, right? <laughs> so it's good with tomato sauce also, right? 
says very con, con sal o pepper. Ah, uh, really? Do you add pepper? Interesting. Ah, okay. Or roasted, right? Like rostizadas. Roasted eggplants also. This is good. So we have eggplant. Then armchair. We have the armchair here. Different than the sofa, right? Remember, it's different. It's combined by two. Ah, oh, but let's check about eggplant. It's two words together. What are the two words here in eggplant? Huevo y planta. Uh -huh. <laughs> but why they say eggplant? <laughs> La planta huevo. <laughs> <laughs> but have you seen it? <laughs> ya la han visto cuando... Esta sí tiene lógica porque cuando está pequeñita parece huevo. It is white. Es blanca. It's white. So sí parece huevo. Eso sí tiene lógica. But eggplant. Ahora, cuando ya está grande, sí ya no parece huevo. Más parece un, como un tecomate, right? Now it's a purple color. So that's an eggplant. Archer is combined by two words. What are the two words together? Brazo. Uh -huh. Arm Let's arm and chair. Armchair. Yeah. Sillón. So that you can sit here, right? Different than the sofa. Fireman, it has two words. What are the two words here? Bombero. Bombero. Ajá. So, fire, fuego. Fuego. Hombre. So, no es el hombre fuego, right? But it's bombero. So, they eliminate the fire. That's great. Okay. We have also a video about this. With this. In the case of pronunciation, compound nouns. We're going to watch it. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroo.com. After you finish this activity, Share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, as on the video, we had there like a variety of some of the compound words. This one has to do with the different places. So let's check here. Post office. Notice here where you see the bubble or like the circle. 
you put emphasis on that specific word. Post office. So we don't pronounce like post office, right? Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. Now, and also it said that a noun is a person, a place, or thing. So it can be whatever. All that is around us is a noun. Why? Because everything has a name. Todo lo que tenga un nombre is, is referring to a noun. So all of this. Todo, todo, todo tiene un nombre. Tiene una manera de llamársele. Even our names, incluso nuestros nombres, son los que son nombres propios. They are proper names or proper nouns. So all of these ones. Now let's check. In the case of post office, do you go to the post office, guys? Do you visit the post office? No, never. Never? You never do it? Okay. Because you can send emails, right? Now we don't write letters. In the past, we used to send letters. But now, unless that you're going to send a package para enviar un paquete, right? So that is necessary to go to the post office. Or simply you call FedEx. What's another one that you can call? You can call delivery, right? So in these times, it's Urbano. not necessary. Uh -huh. Which one? Urbano Express. Urbano Express. Correo El Salvador. Correo El Salvador. DHL. Yes. That's good. Mm -hmm. Any other one? Edgardo, you were saying? Uh, DHL. DHL, that's another one. So they can go to your house, and right? You have the package, and you gave them to them. Nice. What about gas station? Which gas stations do you know? Oswaldo Hernández, which ones do you know? ¿Cuál es conoce? Mm -hmm. Which gas stations do you know? Texaco, Puma. Texaco, Puma. Eh, uno uno ajá ajá este it's only three right Alba Petróleos does it exist no or not anymore no, right no DLC it doesn't exist ajá DLC, DLC. ajá ok nice what about eh, Superstar ajá. Superstar so yeah right now there are a lot in the past, it was just like Texaco and well, and Via Shell. That was another one. Shell. Mm -hmm. Shell, Shell, right? Yes, Shell. That was another one. Yeah, that's true. In Guatemala. Uh huh. Existe Shell todavía en Guatemala. Shell. Ah, but only not here, right? In El Salvador, we don't no. have Shell anymore. Mm -hmm. Like Texaco, mm -hmm. Puma is very common now. Yes, mm -hmm. right. Also, okay. That's true. I'm yes. Here, no. Sorry, me. Yes, tell me. Eh, no pasar asistencia. Right now, right now we're going to do it. Okay. Thank you. We're going to do it right now. Let me know if you are present, please. All right. Let's begin here. We have uh, Alvaro Mauricio. Thank you so much. Ana Xiomara. Here, teacher. Thank you, Ana. Brenda Rachel. Brenda? No. Camila Alessandra? Uh, present, teacher. Thank you, Camila. Carolina Elizabeth? Present. Thank you so much. Clara Judith? Here I am. Thank you. Denise? Present teacher. Thank you, Denise. Edgardo Ernesto. Here I am, teacher. Thank you, Edgard. Elmer Giovanni. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Elsie del Carmen. Here I am. Thank you, Elsie. Gabriela Abigail. Aquí. Thank you. Genesis Abigail. Present. Thank you. Jaime Alfredo. Jaime Alfredo. Present. Thank you, Jaime. Jonathan Adonai. Present, teacher. 
Thank you. Jose Oswaldo. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose. Karen Xiomara. You're welcome. I'm here. Thank you, Karen. Karina Yamilet. Thank you. Carla Elizabeth. Present, Miss. Thank you, Carla. Carla Saraí. Present teacher. Thank you, Saraí. Kathy Esther. Present teacher. Thank you, Kathy. Lázaro Alberto. Lázaro Alberto. Ledia Eloida. Present teacher. Thank you so much. María José. María José. Oswaldo Stanley. Present. Thank you. Rebeca Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Alexis. I'm here. Thank you, Rodrigo. Susana del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Susana. Wendy Graciela. Present. Thank you. And Jedmi Wendy Let. Jedmi Wendy Let. All right. Let's continue this part then. All right. So we were checking here about the other places that you know. Rodrigo, Rodrigo Beltran, tell us about drugstores. What are drugstores that you know? For example, Pharma Value. What others do you know? San Roque. San Roque. Oh, that is new for me. Okay. Any other one? Mm, I don't remember. Don't remember <laughs> other one. What about San Nicolás? Farmacia. Ah, yeah, San Nicolás. That's another one, right? That is very popular. Economicas. Economica, yeah. Right. Camila. Okay. Which one? Camila. Camila. Ah, yes, I have heard. Brasil. La Vida. La San Vida. Benito. Guadalupe. Also San Benito, Uno. Right? Uno, that's another one. Uh, they have a, a lot. Farma so, Value. Farm, yeah, exactly. We have that one. What about supermarkets? Wendy. Wendy Graciela. What supermarkets do you know? Repeat, please. Which supermarkets do you know? Um, Despensa Familiar. <laughs> Despensa Familiar, yes. Any other one? Uh, mm, Maxi Despensa. <laughs> Maxi Despensa, ajá. Uh -huh. They say that they were allies, right? They are associates. He escuchado que están como asociadas, están aliadas. Yes. That's what they eh... say, right? I like I like uh, uh, Price Mart. Price Mart is yes, mm -hmm. it's very nice. Super selectos. Super selectos, yes. All of those ones you can find. That's great. Also, like a it's similar, like a convenience store is Dollar City, right? Like a convenience store. Tienda de conveniencia. Well, we find everything there. And it's not expensive. What about department stores? What department stores do you know, Elsie? Uh, Simán. Simán. Uh -huh. uh, Sportline. Ah, Sportline. That's another one, yes. Price Mart too, right? That's another nice place, one. like a department store. Yes, good one. Okay, Clara Rodas. What about bookstores? Which bookstores? Bookstores. Uh -huh. um, San Rey. Okay. Bookstore. Um, Libreria. Ah, Libreria. <laughs> San Rey, uh, for example, is one bookstore. La Ceiba. La Ceiba, uh -huh. ajá. International. Eh, San Pablo, ahí me lo diría. Ah, yes, San Pablo, yes. Um, Ibérica, also, right? 
Yes. Erika in Uca also is another one that is in Las Cascadas, I think. We have that one. All right. Good one, guys. Okay. We are going to continue tomorrow with more about compound nouns. All right. Do you have questions about this? So far, so good. So far, so good. All right. Then we'll continue tomorrow, guys. Have a beautiful night. Thank you so much for attending the class. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. night. See you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Have sweet dreams. Bye bye. Good Goodbye. Take care. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Take care.